What the heck was this place? Legends of blood rituals and sacrifices in the region. Yo. Yo, wait, wait. <laughs> hey, don't take lights off of it. One of their classmates bludgeoned them to death with a rock. I'm a little spooked, to be honest. Oh, what what the f was that? Yo, there's shit running around. Oh, okay. <laughs> chop, chop. What's up, Buckinghammers? We're in San Antonio with the big dog. Hey, what's up? What's up? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why are you putting me? I'm a bystander. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Buckingham Show. I'm Brandon Buckingham. Here with me, I have Turkey Tom. Oh, uh, hey. I'm like a uh, racist. <laughs> And here with me, I also have um, Wendigoon. How's it going? The world is my N-word bridge. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys, and welcome back to the Brandon Buckingham channel. I'm Tom, and today we are exploring abandoned, haunted places in San Antonio. Where are we going today, Brandon? The Devil's Den. The Devil's Den. In a fun town. We're also going to the Donkey Lady Bridge. Ooh. Your mom's so fat, she's scary, she might be there. <laughs> <laughs> For those that are unaware, San Antonio is routinely listed as one of the most haunted cities in America. These ghosts don't have shit on us. All right, guys, here we are at Devil's Den. In 1997, there was a satanic ritual here where two teenagers were brutally sacrificed. Brutally sacrificed to the demon god. There's a lot of satanic ritual stories and whatnot that uh, persist around the waterways of Southern Texas. This area is of particular note because in 1996, the bodies of two high school boys were found at this location. It was determined years later that the murders were caused by one of their classmates, had nothing to do with the satanic ritual, but if you already have, you know, legends of blood rituals and sacrifices in the region and then two bodies are found there the legends are going to persist this area or devil's den has significance they severed his balls from his cock <laughs> <laughs> this area holds significance because actual bodies were found here, which lends further credence th to this myth than most. So if you don't watch to the end, you might have your balls severed from your cock. <laughs> what was that actually? What was that? <laughs> that was you. Our no, that was no, no, no. That was hot. That was farther away and higher pitch. That sounded like a glass. The rumor oh, is actually that it. Chris from Mr. Beast actually <laughs> performed a blood sacrifice on his own child here, which was featured in a Mr. Beast video from September of 2020 titled "Sacrificing Children to Feed the Homeless." In Mr. Beast episode titled. Mutilating the genitals of 400 people in San Antonio, Texas. He actually came to this very location. All right, never mind. Is that real? <laughs> All right. If you go bad, you got a bad right, bitch. Get a bib, because we're going to be babbing all night. Bro, she babbing on my shit. There's nobody babbing on my shit. She babbing on my shit all night, bro. She babbing this in the six nights. She be babbing on my shit. For my baby mama. My baby mama don't fuck with you. Hey, listen, man. You dig what I'm saying? Like, we walking on a trail, you feel me? Like, you dig what I'm saying? Gangsta, like, really we outside with it. Like, gangsta, like, for real. Like, take a time, like, like, like gangsta. Like, <laughs> really? What's that? Yo, there's shit running around. Yeah, oh. <laughs> Whoa. Like that way. It's probably just a possum or something. Yo. Yo wait, wait. Hey, hey, don't take lights off of it. Take, keep lights over there. Yeah. Yo. There's a real rustling going on. Are there yeah, wolves? The biggest fear would be like a rabbit animal. I, I mean, probably not this close to a roadway, but. A pygmy elephant's gone rogue. It's drinking blood. Oh, Whoa, okay. Gunshots. Gunshot? Yeah. That did sound like a gunshot. Gunshots. And we are not in the hills enough. For that to be normal. So let's go deeper. No, let's let's Interesting. every time we do this, let's just go. Look, we're doing we a video. We, we don't need coward energy right now. I keep hearing shit out there. It's like it just got really cold, didn't it? Yeah. <sighs> well, somebody's buried here. Augie? This is what happened to Augie. Augie RFC? Augie RFC. <laughs> He's literally from Texas. Yeah, He's uh, buried that here. Could be the two boys. The two Wait, so the actual story is one of their classmates bludgeoned them to death with a rock? Yeah, out here, supposedly. That's horrific. You spooked? I'm a little spooked, to be honest. So it appears, at least from where it's marked on the map, that it's over in the bushes somewhere. It's not like actually on this trail. So I'm guessing that's that way. Got a little foraging to do. Somewhere in the direction of all the scary noises we've been hearing? Yeah, 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 somewhere in that direction. <laughs> <laughs> I heard some whispers as soon as we walked up to the cross. Stop. I'm being serious. Stop. It was so fucking spooky. Shh. 
I don't want to hear that. All right, guys, we're coming up on Treachery Trail over here, which appears to be uh, the entrance to Devil's Den. We've arrived. We've arrived. What the heck was this place? Sure. I'm really curious as to what's in there or what this what place is. What this place was, looking at it, so clearly the way it was built, it wasn't for any kind of, you know, aesthetic, right? I think it was for, <laughs> bridge is probably the most likely, because these are like just really big support walls. Uh, what was that? Oh, no, what what the here? fuck was that? Like a growl? Yeah. I think there's a way, I, there's like a room up here we should go to. Yeah, well, this is the underneath part of Devil's oh. Den in San Antonio, Texas. A lot of graffiti, a lot of rubble. Can you shine a light up there? I wonder if there might be a first floor. This sure. is creepy, dude. I don't like, it's just me and you down here. I do not like this. Where's the group? <laughs> Little creepy, little creepy, don't like it. So out of curiosity, I opted to be hoisted up and peer inside the den itself. There's a fucking tree in here. You can drop that down, the light, or the phone, or both. And you're dead. All right, so what'd you see up there? Here, I'll show it to you. And that's the second part on the right. So it's two open. Things. There's two open things. Yep. Divided by a wall. So I'd consider the uh, exploration of Devil's Den a success because we found it and we saw all parts of it. Even and its innards. Even its innards. Honestly, maybe it'll come across creepy on video, but somewhat underwhelming. Yeah, it's like a four or five out of 10 on the creepy scale. There's a lot of people who say, even though the police said there was no rituals occurring here, maybe there are, you know? Maybe there weren't before the murders happened, but after it became some kind of sacred place, Maybe, who knows? Yeah, maybe death worshippers could come here and just start yeah, worshipping yeah. after the fact. I think for me what takes away from some of the spookiness is its close proximity to a very nice trail and also like you can hear a lot of environmental cars, noises. Yeah. Dogs, like if someone were to scream, you could hear it. Yeah. yeah. The Devil's Den, also known as the Goon Cave, was inhabited by Wendigoon from 2020 until 2094. He would ferociously masturbate to the point that his ovaries were so expanded they were about to fall off, at which point he created a substance known as Wendigoon Vindaloo. The Wendigoon Vindaloo was the nicest dinner plate at the entire <laughs> Indian curry grill. <laughs> Kayla Garrett loved eating it every single day and never okay. complained, despite its- Keep filming! <sighs> Kayla Garrett- <laughs> This fucking guy. Kayla Garrett enjoyed eating Wendigoon Vindaloo every day. Randy Stare, Turkey Tom's biggest inspiration. <laughs> Randy Stare, Brandon Buckingham's greatest look-alike. Yeah, I do like Danny Phantom. Yeah. Right now, it's 3 a.m. We are currently at Fun Town. Super, super spooky. Super scary. And there's a, they got dogs. You guys want to talk about something that's actually scary? There's a, a <laughs> pack of pit bulls running around this area. We're on the <laughs> southeast side of San Antonio, our hood. Li literally, as soon as we came in here, three pit bulls followed the car. Like jacked pit bulls. Jacked pit bulls. And this is apparently an abandoned uh, amusement park of sorts. Not much remains. As you can see, the rubble here. I'm hearing dogs barking, and I really don't want to see those pit bulls up close. Yo, that dog is close. All right, well, there isn't much to see. Come on, guys, don't separate and run. Yo, the dog is, yo. <laughs> yo, the dog is getting closer. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Oh, fuck. Ow! 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 Chill out, chill out. Ow, 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 ow. Chill out, we're just... You're good, we're good. You're good. You're good, Mustafa, watch your head. All right, so, we just got chased by a pit bull right there. Three in the morning. You know what's scarier than ghosts? Pit bulls. All right, so Fun Town USA was not very fun. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't very fun at all. We didn't have any fun. Yeah. We heard it bark, and then we heard it bark again, and then we heard it bark again, and each bark was bark, 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 and we just left. Right now, it's 3.05 in the morning. Whatever you do, don't go to Fun Town at 3 a.m. You'll have no fun. I mean, it was kind of scary, I don't know. The scariest thing was just the dogs. Yeah, go to Fun Town if you want to find the pit bulls. <laughs> Pit bulls. Le pit bulls. Le pit bulls. The most innocent dog in the fucking world! I mean, the tangible qualities of a muscular pit bull chasing me out of a barbed wire enclosed fence area. That's pretty scary. I'd give that, I'd give that an 8 out of 10 on the spooky scale. Next, we travel to our final destination, Donkey Lady Bridge. Shattered windshields, hoof prints, and nade. Like that? I have teeth like a donkey. You have teeth like Bosch's sexual preferences. It's 3.26 in the morning, and we are currently approaching 
Donkey Lady Bridge. Don't watch Winnie the Pooh at 3 a.m. I'm praying we don't hear braying. <laughs> braying is like the least intimidating word you could possibly use for anything. They're, they're braying. <laughs> they're braying. <laughs> donkey Lady Bridge. <laughs> Once a bustling bridge full of donkeys and ladies <laughs> is currently populated by nothing but the sounds of braying in the deep San Antonian jungle. The only bridge in North America. The only bridge in North America to have donkeys and ladies on it at the same time. Vosh is a huge fan of Donkey Lady Bridge. Donkey Lady Bridge, a porno created about a controversial relationship between a donkey and a lady. Donkey dicks are just not big enough, but today we'll be exploring it. <coughs> <laughs> Donkeys. So, uh, uh, Wendigoon, can you explain the Donkey Lady Bridge for the fifth fucking time? <laughs> yeah, no problems. Uh, basically, there's an old legend that during the 1800s, this woman of San Antonio had a donkey and it, su it sucked her pussy. No. <laughs> <laughs> cursed his penis. <laughs> she cursed his donkey dick to forever hang. And Separated his balls from his dick. <laughs> <laughs> she cursed his balls to hang before his dick instead of after. She started braying and he wouldn't stop sucking. The donkey lady's pussy sucking incident <laughs> would play the area. What's donkey bridge? So the donkey lady is a <laughs> the donkey. Oh, uh, that kill us. Legend has it that during, around the 1800s, a woman whose only earthly possession uh, was a donkey. Um, you broke. One day, yes. One day, uh, the donkey was killed. Uh, either uh, stories vary that she was killed by the townspeople. It fell into a river. And in the ensuing incident, either by her own hand or on accident, the woman was also killed. So because of that, their souls became not only intertwined, but sour. And now some forced, cursed amalgamation of the two wanders the area around the bridge, the waterway, where this killing took place. So legend has it, if you go there at night, turn off the car, roll down the windows, you will hear what sounds like... Uh, this cursed, like, hurt animal brain out in the distance. And supposedly you'll, things will touch your car, you'll see scratch marks on it and stuff like that. Uh, is this, this is the bridge? This would be it. It's not a drivable bridge? The whole thing is you set in the woods by the bridge, which we are currently at. All right. Turn all the lights off. And you see what happens. We're waiting for the interior lights to go dark. And then we're just gonna sit here and wait for scary sounds. <laughs> Much like Devil's Den, the scary atmosphere is muddied by the sound of road noise nearby. We're steadily approaching Donkey Lady Bridge. The one minute car ritual was a fruitless effort. So maybe if we approach on foot, we'll see something noteworthy. Rumors say you can hear the vaginal flapping of the donkey. <laughs> so this is the official Donkey Lady Bridge. This is according to everything online, this is the Donkey Lady Bridge. <laughs> All right. Let's kill the lights. Just get in. Sit for a minute. When I think spookiness, I don't think of like soothing river sounds. It was very peaceful. Donkey Lady Bridge, I would give a one out of 10 on the spooky scale, but a 10 out of 10 on soothing and relaxing sounds. It was pretty nice. The Brandagoon Tom Bridge. I think it's Brand Tom Gooningham. <laughs> Thousands of pounds of dog poop wash into your water supply every year. Gulp. Little did you know it was actually coming out of a donkey's pussy. Donkey pussy. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck going on? Hey, hey, bruh, hey, bruh. Somebody called a doctor. All right, well, I'd say Donkey Lady Bridge was Kind of an epic success. Tom, how would you rate uh, Donkey Goon uh, Lake and a scale from one to 10? Extremely scory. I'm a fucking score, dude. What would you, you give it, scory? numerically? Maybe like seven donkey labias out of 12. <coughs> donkey Herrera, Lady Operator Bridge, Goon <laughs> Cave Max. <laughs> the Fat Cable Guy, Black Rifle Donkey Pussy Coffee Bridge, Goon. Lady Herrera. <laughs> Donkey Operations. 
<laughs> Donkey operation. San Antonio. Operator Donkski. Lady Herrera found her donkey smoking a cigarette, so she made him smoke the whole goon pack on the bridge. And after the entire pack, the donkey died of black tar heroin inhalation from the menthol cigarette on the bridge with Brandon Herrera. Donkey Pussy Bridge is full of bustling gooning cities and bustling, bristling, <laughs> pimpling towns. Isaiah Nichols, goonerous Davy Crockett to ever cross donkey lady pussy gooning Brandon fucking Herrera sucking donut operating big boy fat electrician black rifling bridge. Make a bitch bray, I'm bracken. Can I hit that? <laughs> Thanks, bro. Logan Paul created prime Pussy, donkey, lady, Herrera, gooning, pussing, pooping, feastable, Chris from Mr. Beast. Christopher Robin. Christopher <laughs> Robin. And Brandon Herrera. And Brandon <laughs> Herrera. Brandon Herrera never grew up. He never left Neverland. And I never left Donkey Pussy Lady Bridge. <laughs>